Page 53 introduced the germ of suspicion into their dealings with one another. They had confided in each other throughout, trusting that mutual understanding would be automatic whatever they did and whenever they ran across each other. But now, mistrust mingled with understanding. Had they never understood each other, mistrust would have been casual. But because they understood each other to a microscopic degree, this mistrust was unbearable. They were cordial. Cordiality was valued sixty years before they were born, but it was not an esteemed thing in their day. Congressmen, meeting with governors in 1902, were cordial. They raised little glasses to each other, sipped them, and said, Thank you, a wonderful cordial. But that was when people in power drank small toasts to each other in public. These two weren't congressmen or governors. They had no power. Formal behavior was frowned upon but they would nod to each other stiffly if they bumped into each other somehow. This was a remnant of public behavior they'd never witnessed in their lifetimes, but which they pulled up from a past someone else had had. They sensed each other's dissolution without sharing in it. Each knew the other was watching everyone around him, wandering aimlessly. Each knew this was how most people lived. Each knew the other one didn't want the other to be isolated. They intuited, without knowing specifically what was the other one's environment, the fundamentals of the other's situation. Whether they were hundreds of miles distant, two miles away, or in the same room, the undescribed backdrop was apparent to both of them through the otherwise opaque wall of antipathy that stood between them, transparent to their sight, but not to that of others. Neither knew just how the world in... Page 53...